Hello viewers, welcome. Let's look at this question. What's the January, February 2025 edition, which is the first batch or first series edition? Wayek uh, for mathematics. Question number two The sum of the squares of two consecutive odd numbers or odd positive integers is 74. We have to find those numbers. Remember, odd numbers. Uh, numbers that are not divisible by two without leaving a remainder. So let's see if we can think of those odd numbers. We have one, three, five, seven, nine, in that order. So if I ask you to think of an odd number, you might be thinking of one, I might be thinking of seven, somebody will think of 11. So when you think of 11, what will be the next number after 11? You have to know what happens to 1 to give you 3. What happened to 3 to give you what? 5. You can see there's an addition of 2, 2, 2, 2 to each number. So in your mind, you can't tell me the exact number you are thinking of. I might be thinking of this. So since we cannot tell the exact number, we all need to think of one number. Then we have to represent that number we are thinking of as the odd integer to be a variable. So let's say if in 11 in my mind is what? x what will be the next number the next number after 11 will be 13 how will i get a 13 i add 2 to that so this become the 13 number then this become the x then the next number will be x plus what 2 so we are looking for the sum of the squares of two consecutive consecutive means that if i think of one the next will be three if i think of nine the next will be what uh, 7, the next to be 9. That's consecutive. It will follow each other without the breakage. So since we don't know, we are representing this 11 or whatever number you are thinking of by the variable. So here we only say that let x be the first number. If x is the first number, then x plus 2 be the second word number right so the question says that sum that is addition of the first number plus the second number the result should be what uh, 74 right good but there's a condition here which says that the sum of the squares how do we find a square a square is just uh, a number multiply itself two times or to the power of two so the first number square the second number square the result is this so this means i should be having x square plus x plus two all square i should get my result to be 74. so this gives us the equation that is being described by the the sentence we are having here you know this is a binomial which we can easily expand so this gives us x square remember if you watch my episode, when we are expanding binomial, we don't do it uh, term by term. We have the first term being squared, that is first term squared, twice their product, square the last term. What is the first term? X, square that. That would be X squared. What is the product of the terms in the bracket? X times 2, that is 2X, twice of that. That will give you 4X. Then square the last term, meaning 2 squared, 4, also give you 74. So now we have x squared, x squared as like terms. 1x squared plus 1x squared will give you 2 of the x squared plus 4x plus 4. Let's transpose the positive 74 to become negative 74, leaving 0 at the other side. If that is the case, I can have my 2x squared, 4x, 4 minus 74 will give you negative 70 equals to 0. So this becomes a quadratic equation, but I can see 2 being a common factor of all of them. So I can divide through by 2. If we divide here by 2, you'll we'll be having x squared. Divide here by 2, you have 2x Divide the 70 by 2, you get negative 35 equals to 0. Remember what we do 
if the number if the coefficient of the x squared term is 1 we only find the factors of negative 34 uh, 35 when we add those factors we should be arriving at what 2 and uh, those factors are going to be negative 5 times 7 if I multiply this I should be getting that if I add the 2 I should be getting this so right away I open two brackets since we are not be given the question as to solve for x as a quadratic equation we are only looking for the x so we need the final state so the first term will be x x one of the factor will come the next factor is positive so plus what seven so either the five minus x is the one that is zero or x plus five that is zero since they are multiplying their result is zero so we pick one of them to be the zero meaning x minus 5 equals 0 or x plus 7 equals 0. What should I do? I will transpose the negative to become positive. So x will not be equal to 5. Here, if we transpose that, that will give you negative 7. So x is going to be 5 or x is going to be negative 7. But what do we do? Let's come here and see. We are finding the numbers. So if x is the same here and x is the same here, we have to listen to the question again. See if there is something there helping us. We say well, consecutive odd positive integers. Negative 7 is also an integer, but we are looking for positive. Right? So we pick only um, the 5. So therefore... The numbers are, what is the first one? Since x is the first one, we have that. What will be the second one? The second one is here. 5 plus what? 2. And that will be 7. So we have 5 and 7. Ignoring the negative 7. This is negative 7 and this is what? A positive 7. I guess you follow through the concept how we start and end at the answer like share comment and subscribe don't forget to come back for question number three